Hey class, this is Dr. Willis just logging on for your weekly announcement. Uh, it is Wednesday, so happy hump day. We're halfway through module three. Uh, can you believe it? Uh, we're three weeks into this term. As I told you in week one, these courses move absolutely uh, just, just really fast. So we really have to focus on maximizing our efforts each week. We're already at module three. It's, it's crazy. Uh, so what I really want to focus on during this announcement uh, is just a few tips uh, going forward. <clears throat> going forward, I want to kind of reflect on uh, the last couple weeks of class, and then I want to kind of talk about what we have going forward in module three. So some some quick reflection from what I thought uh, during my grading of our activities. Uh, what I really want us to focus on is understanding that this is graduate school. Uh, the level of writing really has to go up. I really want you to focus on uh, critical thinking, uh, being able to enhance sentence structure, focus on grammar, punctuation, all those things that we should have pretty much down right now, I really want us to pay attention to. Um, I think I was a little bit lenient on the grading this week. Uh, so, but, but going forward, I really want you to put, want you all to put in a better effort uh, with your writing. Not everybody. I think we had some really strong, solid uh, papers turned in, uh, but there were there were a few that I thought could have been a little bit better. So, I really want you to challenge yourself uh, to really do the foundational things necessary to create strong writings. And you might ask, what are they? Brainstorming. Okay putting your thoughts on paper, getting someone to edit your post, even a discussion board post. I, I view discussion board posts as a short one page essay. So I really want you to focus and really look at that discussion board post as a paper. Uh, we have a rubric that we that we grade by. So you need to really focus on those key areas. Um, and, and also the online writing center. Guys, this is a the, the probably the most valuable tool that we have here at, at at SNHU, I almost said Southeastern for a second, but here at SNHU, that's one of the most valuable resources that we have. It's at your disposal. Please use it. Use it. Always send everything you write to them. They're there to help you and they're willing to help you. Okay. Also, uh, be timely. Be timely on your post and be timely on your response. Uh, also on the response. Be sure that you adhere to the instructions when you respond to your peers. It's never going to be just a simple, I thought you did a great job on this post, period, done. You have to follow those instructions that's embedded in the discussion board. So really pay attention there. Those rubrics are there for a reason. Uh, once we give those, that's how we're gonna grade. So it's, it, it would behoove you to read those rubrics and understand the breakdown and be sure to gear your paper or uh, directly related related to that rubric. Okay, now going forward in module three. Uh, module three is is pretty busy as well. Uh, we have a discussion board post and we have a, a another paper, uh, the midterm paper. So I really want us to focus on understanding what's expected in that first discussion board. We're talking about self assessment, um, and self assessment really speaks for itself in any area that you think about. If you think about it as a student, uh, the importance of self-assessment is really understand, understanding key areas where you're deficient as a student, being honest with yourself, taking an inventory. So basically what you're doing in this, in this discussion board, finding resources online that can help you with self-assessment, giving us some detail about why you, why you enjoy the self-assessment, why you picked it, and the benefits. Um, and of course, you have to respond to your peers um, regarding those self-assessments there as well. Uh, and lastly, uh, we're going to have a big paper that's due. Now, in this paper, you're going to bring together a culmination of everything we've talked about thus far. We've talked about goal setting. We've talked about commitment, competing, self-assessment, all those things. You're going to bring those together and you're going to answer questions in four different categories. So what I really want us to do, uh, I don't want us to rush into this paper. Uh, it's not due until Sunday, but what I would like you to do is truly take time out to brainstorm your thoughts. Go through each section. I think it's going to ask you about internal motivation or intrinsic motivation. It's going to ask you about self-efficacy. I think I said that right. Um, time management and also your academic preparation. So what I want you to do is really read the question, 
take time to to digest everything about the question and get put your thoughts on paper. You don't have to rush into this assignment. And, and I think you'll turn out a better paper uh, if you do the foundational things necessary uh, to really put your thoughts together first before you start writing. Now, of course, your discussion board is going to be due Thursday, that initial post, Thursday at 11.59. Uh, be sure that we get that in. You have to respond to your peers uh, by Sunday at 11.59. And as I always state, if you have any questions, any concerns, any issues, please reach out. Um, I'm in the process of grading all the module two work right now. I will have that done very soon. Uh, so, but if you have any questions about anything that has been graded, send me an email, send me a chat. I'll get right back to you. Um, I hope everybody is having a great week thus far. I know college is stressful. Uh, we all have kids, we all have jobs and, and we're in school. So this is a stressful time. So anytime that you all feel that you're getting overwhelmed uh, with this class, with other classes, please reach out to me, okay? I'll sit there, we'll talk on the phone, we can chat, I don't mind, but I don't want you to get overwhelmed and feel like you can't make it through this through your program. So please reach out. Graduate school is hectic. Managing everything is hectic. It's to be expected, but we don't, we don't want you to let everything get to you and, and you internalize everything and not speak to anybody. So please reach out if you have any questions, email me, chat me, uh, and that's really all I have for today. I know this was a little bit long, but you all have a wonderful evening and the rest of the week. I will see you on Friday. All right. Bye-bye.